Hey guys, welcome to the unboxing of the Celion Magic Cube. Um, this is uh, one that I'm actually going to, uh, right after the unboxing, in the same video, I'm going to go ahead and post a, uh, a review and a usage of. Um, anxious to get this one out of the box and try it out, make sure it all works for uh, if it's see if it's all it's advertised to be. If not, I'm going to send it back, but uh, I'm anxious to see. So what this is, is a... Uh, it's a projected virtual keyboard. It's Bluetooth, um, and they call it the Magic Cube. And uh, it's a projection keyboard and multi-touch mouse. And as you can see, it looks like the keyboard is being projected onto the flat surface. The boxing is really nice, so that's a a plus. Um, usually, the box quality kind of tells you about the product, and they did a really nice job with the boxing um, on this here. And uh, you can see it says iOS 4, iPhone uh, 3G, 4, iPad, iPad 2 and later, Android 2.0 and higher, Windows Phone 7, Windows XP Vista 7, and Mac OS 10, USB, Bluetooth. Um, so this is compatible with a lot of different devices you could use this with, not just a uh, iPhone or iPad or anything. And uh, so it's a full-size keyboard layout with multi-touch mouse capabilities. Works on most flat, opaque surfaces. Compact, ultra portable mobile input solution. And uh, there's no driver installation required for HID supported devices. So let's go ahead and unbox this. And then, like I said, immediately following this little unboxing part, I will have a uh, actual review and usage of this thing to see uh, how it goes. And uh, so let's get this thing unboxed. And, uh, Pretty tight. Thought it was just the tabs holding on, but uh, it does not appear so. I hate to always kind of break the box, but I guess in this case we're going to have to. It's not coming out super simple. Always makes it tough for uh, sending it back if you destroy the case, but in this case it looks like it's made to be destroyed because can't get into the plastic unless you get rid of this. So let's tear this off. Alright. Let's put the trash aside. So now we just have the cube in a cube. Hope we can figure out how to get the cube. There it just comes off like that. And inside there is a box. See what's in here. So we have your standard USB, looks like micro USB. Um, little getting started quick guide and an actual user guide and the device itself. This comes right out, really nice. So let's put this aside. And let's look at this device. It's got an on and off up here, a USB port down here, and it looks like it's got a little HID and SPP toggle switch inside of there. Um, on the front, this must be the projection. Uh, one of these has got to be like infrared, and uh, well, that's about it. So let's. Uh, get this baby hooked up and I'll be right back to do like a product review and uh, demo. Thanks for watching and uh, if you uh, like my videos give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot. Thank you. Hey guys welcome back um, to the review and unboxing of the uh, Celion uh, projected virtual keyboard. Uh, I currently have it hooked up and as you can see um, down on the, my desk here, I have a keyboard that I can read. Uh, probably not so good on the video, but let me zoom in here and I will show you. There it is. Nice virtual keyboard. Now if I had a white or lighter surface, this would probably look a lot better and I also have the lights on full for the video. But uh, that is what you see on your desk. And this is the actual device right here, projecting the keyboard out. It is paired to this iPad, which I have Notepad up and running. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to try to type on this virtual keyboard. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just type hi. Oh, let's get it on the... Yeah, let's do it again. 
And if I go over to the iPad, bingo, you got it. So the first test is pretty impressive. It did get that. We hit enter, and let's just do. And that worked just like a charm. All I did was just the home row keys, A S D F J K L, and uh, that is on the keyboard or on the notepad on the iPad. So let me go ahead and um, I'm gonna actually turn the light out in here, so this may get a little dark, but I want to show you what it looks like in the dark. So just a sec. And let me zoom out. So this is with the lights out. A lot easier to see. Um, and I'm sure, like, unless you push it, I'm hovering over the keys pretty low and it's not actually typing anything on the iPad. So I hit backspace a couple times. Looks like that is deleting like it should on the iPad. There's a little bit of delay there. And for some reason the sound keeps ticking, ticking, ticking. But it, the response is pretty good from what I'm seeing on the keyboard. Um, that's getting annoying though on the sound, so I don't know if that's coming from the iPad or the device itself. Let me see. Looks like it's coming from the device itself and not the actual iPad. So that's a basic uh, overview of the device. Uh, pretty cool. Um, I'll have a link to the product and I'll do a little more testing out and then I'll come back and I'll let you know. Um, do some typing tests real quick and see how that works and uh, go from there. But uh, early impressions, except for this clicking that won't stop, um, I'm liking it. And uh, pretty cool concept, looks pretty space aged to have the virtual keyboard down on your, your desktop. And I don't know why it keeps ticking, but when we move it, maybe that'll make it quit. Maybe it's too close to the iPad. There we go. Anyway, virtual keyboard, so far, I like. Thumbs up. If you like this video, again, give me a thumbs up and like it and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a lot. Um, again, I'll have all the information about this little device on the uh, show notes. And um, I'll do some more typing tests and I'll give you like a, I'll like do 10 things and I'll give you like a percentage out of the 10 that actually keyed correctly. And uh, I'll show have that in my show notes. And um, that's about it. So uh, again, this is the Cellulon projected keyboard. And uh, so far it looks pretty good. Um, hopefully you uh, want to check it out too. Give it a try. Thanks for watching.